Hello friends. In this video, we will look at the IPO details of top three upcoming IPOs that will hit the market in December. The first company in the list is Burger King India. Burger King India is one of the fastest growing international chain restaurant in India. Company is promoted by QSR Asia, which is a joint venture of Burger King Corporation and PE firm Everstone Capital. The company is exclusive national master franchisee of Burger King brands in India until 2039. The company began operation only in November 2014 and quickly expanded to 263 restaurants as on October 2020. The company plans to have 700 restaurants by December 2026, providing a good growth visibility. Company suppliers include Hyphen Foods, Bechtel Foods, PepsiCo, V-Bars, Wengies, etc. The entire supply chain is managed by third-party distributor Coldex. Here, Coldex purchases from supplier and hold inventory until the delivery. This arrangement with third-party distributor Coldex helps Burger King India to reduce the working capital requirements. IPO size is expected to be 800 crores. The IPO consists of the fresh issue of 541 crores and the promoters will be selling 6 crore shares via offer for sale route. I have done a detailed analysis and peer comparisons. You can watch the detailed analysis via the link below. The next company in the list is Railtel Corporation of India. Railtel is a mini Rekna public sector enterprise wholly owned by the government of India. under administrative control of ministry of railways railtel is one of the largest neutral telecom infrastructure provider in india company has fiber network covering 55000 route kilometers and covering 5677 railway station across india as on june 2020 company operate data center in gurugram haryana and secunderabad The company's services include telecom network service, telecom infrastructure service, managed data center and hosting service and projects. Telecom network service is the largest segment contributing 55% of revenue. The company offers enterprise customers leased line service, MPLS based VPN facilities, etc. Company also offers retail broadband service through the rail via platform. The next big segment is projects which contribute near 30% revenue. Company collaborate with partners and OEMs to undertake ICT hardware implementation, software delivery and digital transformation services. The next is managed data center and hosting service where company offers data center service including infrastructure as a service. cloud computing disaster recovery service other authentication service etc this segment contribute 12.3% of the revenue the next is telecom infrastructure service where company provides space to base transceiver stations for telecom operators the ipo size is expected to be 600 to 700 crores As per the DRSP, there is no fresh issue in this IPO, and the promoters, that is the government of India, will be selling 8.6 crore shares via offer for sale route. And the next company is Kalyan Jewelers. Kalyan Jewelers is one of the largest jewelry retailer based on revenue. Kalyan Jewelers has 137 showrooms across India and Middle East. Company also has 761 My Kalyan customer outreach network centers. company has 5.9% market share in organized jewelry retailers promoters hold 76% stake in the company and remaining 24% is held by the workbook pinker subsidiary hydel ipo is expected to be opened in second week of december the ipo size is expected to be around 1050 crore rupees As per the DRSP the company is looking to raise 1000 crore rupees for a fresh issue and another 150 crore rupees will be raised via offer for sale route where the promoters will be selling around 250 crore worth shares and Warburg Pinkers will be selling 500 crore worth shares we also have other IPOs like Isa of Small Finance Bank Surya of Surya the Small Finance Bank Nasra Technology and any waste handling cell 
better foods which has already received sebi approvals and these are also expected to hit the ipo market very soon thank you for watching do subscribe and stay tuned thank you